Welcome, summoners, to another electrifying Alliance War season. Prepare yourselves for epic showdowns as our Elite Four Lokians take on the fiercest opponents in the battle realm. Will our Alliance rise to the top and claim victory, or will we face the crushing blow of defeat? Stay tuned, smash that like button, and subscribe for more MCOC action. Let's fight. War number nine, and this is the least number of fights that I've done in a war in quite a while. I really thought about combining this video with the next one, but as you can tell, I decided not to. I am bringing in the team of Nimrod, Deathless King Groot, and Maestro. First fight up is Weapon X on node number one. All right, I have fought Weapon X a couple different times on a couple different nodes this season, and it's really the same process and same plan throughout no matter what node he's on. Throw in an invuln boost, boost up, go in, fight. It is inevitable that I'm gonna get hit once or twice. I'm gonna throw a special two and a second one if I need it. So here you go, get a good parry, five hit combo, ending in a light to get in the blitz protocol. Now I'm removing his heals and replacing them with a shock debuff. He's berserk, now it's to stay away. And there we go, we get our little hit, couple hits. Now it is just to get to a special two, get back into blitz mode, drop a special two, let the shocks do their damage, and there you go. So I tend to like the getting hit a couple times. It gets my power up a little bit. As long as it's not more than two or three, I'm happy with the fight. All right, now we jump over to path three in section two, and this is the bulk of the video right here, is this... Red Skull, and it's just slow. You know, this one was a little sloppy near the end, but really all I'm doing here is waiting to get my clarity stack. And there we go, you can see it turns green on out of clarity. Now he can't auto block me on special ones. Now it's bait special ones, throw my special ones, and fight this fight for two to three minutes. You know, there's not really a whole lot here. You know, I could see if you didn't have a Deathless King Groot, um, that it would be difficult to do, but really, as long as you keep the clarity charges and he's willing to throw special ones, you know, there's not really much to it. You know, the downside to this is I, he glanced a fair number of my special ones, so I really didn't get that many permanent armor breaks on him. But, you know, they're doing their job. You know, you can see here, we're a minute in. It's just, like I said, it's just slow. You know, here coming up in a little bit, I'll get a little sloppy. Um, you know, there'll be times where I'm trying to bait a special one and he doesn't want to throw it. You know, but for the most part, while I didn't finish full yellow bar on it this time, there's really, like I said, there's really not much to it. Like I said, bait special one, evade special one, five hit combos, throw special one. <laughs> and there he is, he's down to about 24%. And this is kind of where I start getting a little bit sloppy. And there we got hit, you know, a couple times on a dash back. He's kind of playing a little defensive now where he was throwing specials before. So I'm having to dance and just try to do something to get him to throw a special there. He throws a special. But what you'll notice is I'm out of clarity now. So I got auto blocked. And there I tried to see if I could counter his heavy with a heavy. It didn't work. Not a big deal. There, now we've got our clarity charge back. I threw the special two just because I didn't want to go to a special three. I could have, but really no sense in it. Now it's just time to finish this fight off. I thought about just kind of going in and pushing him over a special two, but really decided against it. Wanted to be safe. You know, here we go. We're going to throw another special one, and that finishes him off. All right, and our last fight up is going to be Maestro versus this future Ant-Man. And pretty similar plan here as to last time I used Maestro in war, which is just going to be parry, heavy, until I get a clarity charge. And then at that point, I really don't have to worry about auto block or anything like that. I can just kind of fight through it. 
Uh, about the same time I get the Clarity Charge, I should get my Pierce uh, buff up, so Future Ant Man's not getting any more armor. Then we're going to go up to a Special 2. We're going to throw a Special 2. After the Special 2, you know, if we need to, we'll throw Special 1s. So there we go. Uh, one more Parry Heavy, and we've got our Clarity Charge. There he does Evade. I was just really trying to hit into his block. And now we've got our Clarity Charge because of the buffs. We've got our Pierce up, so he's not going to gain any more armor. I don't have to worry about him auto-blocking. I don't have to worry about him evading. I am going to bait special ones for the most part. I am very comfortable dexing and evading his special one. Special two, not quite so much. I get tagged every once in a while, but just being safe. There we go. Nice big special two. Now I just need to get a special one out of them. Like I said, I'm comfortable dexing that. And now we can just kind of keep going. You know, we'll bait another special one. We'll do a five hit combo into our special one. And that finishes off the fight and the war. This was a very close war and it came down to the last several fights. Fortunately, we did end up with a win to improve to 9-0. Only one more week and three wars left, and we'll probably need to win all three of them to finish in Masters. My record is 42 kills, and I am still deathless on the season. And that's going to wrap us up for this war. If you'd like to see more war action, please make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and feel free to leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and until the next one, take care all.